Well, good morning. It's another uh, interesting morning out here in uh, western Indiana. Uh, we're out in Putnam County. We're at Hauk Covered Bridge. It's been a little while since I made a video or posted a video, but uh, wanted to get out this morning. It's perfect weather here in uh, late August. Uh, so I thought I'd get an opportunity to get up early and get out. Uh, spend a couple minutes taking some pictures here at sunrise at you know, Hauk Cover Bridge, which was built in 1880. Uh, it's 210 feet long. Uh, it is no longer used um, you know, for cars. It's, it's more of a you know, little park setting here where you can walk across it and look at it and certainly take images. It's out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, great place. What I want to do this morning was take a couple minutes, you know, and talk about, you know, my three favorite things or three, the, the three biggest likes I have and the three biggest dislikes I have on my new uh, Canon R5. I uh, thought it'd be something that uh, I, uh, you might like to hear about, might like my perspective on it. So we'll take a couple minutes here uh, after I get a couple more shots and we'll talk about that. All right, so let's talk about the Canon R5. You know, first I think first thing I'm probably, you know, everybody's wondering is, is, you know, I've been doing videos talking about shoot with what you got. It really doesn't matter. You don't need the latest and greatest technology. You don't need the best lenses. You know, just get out there and shoot and have a good time. You know, absolutely, that's still 100%. That's what we should be doing. Doesn't really matter what you have for equipment. Just get out there and use it and take images. Develop your style. You know, enjoy the outdoors. None of that changes, you know, but, you know, so why the R5? Well, if you remember in all those videos that I put together, one of the things I've, I've talked about is, is, you know, technology is great and it's great to have and certainly it can add a little bit of flavor to what you do but at the end of the day just get out and shoot but if you have the money then go out and get what you can afford well I happen to find myself in a situation where I could afford the R5 and decided to go ahead and uh, pick it up and, and give it a shot you know, so having done that now and used it for about a month thought it'd be a good idea just to share three likes and three dislikes you know about the R5 all right so start with like number one you know it the ability to set your focus point with this camera is much better than with the RP which is what I'm actually videoing this with right now you know the RP you know, is a little bit more cumbersome when you're trying to move your focus point you know with the R5 you have the joystick on the back which makes it really easy. You can move it very quickly and, and and gets rid of all the issues. So absolutely number one and the biggest reason why I wanted this camera was the ability to focus. You know, a little, or choose my focus point more quickly. All right. Another like about this camera is the megapixels. It's 45 megapixels. Now, is megapixels a big deal? It's not necessarily and I've said that in other videos but when you're trying to shoot wildlife or something where you might or birds of some sort you know birds in flight you know or you know, like I was doing a few weeks ago I was out out west I was you know shooting buffalo and, and you know and, and uh, bears and a few other things you know it, it's nice to have the ability to crop and with 45 you know megapixels you get a lot more opportunities to crop than you would if you have you know 26 which is what the RP is so certainly you know that absolutely is important and the other thing I like about this camera you know most importantly I guess would be the fact that the menus on it are very similar to the RP so it's very simple to use and understand you know something I'm familiar with so you don't really have to think too much about it you just go ahead and you know and do what you've been doing for the longest period of time so it's pretty much a seamless transition from a menu application from what I was using with the RP so those are the three biggest likes I have about this camera now three biggest dislikes um, take a look this thing is large <laughs> I mean it's 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 twice the size and twice as heavy you know as is my RP now granted you know I put a battery grip on it that does make it a lot bigger all right and it certainly adds weight to it I, I did that by choice all right but the other side of it is you know it, it, it even in its base form, it's just it's much bigger and much heavier. You know, is that really a big deal? It is if you're hiking 10 miles a day. You know, if you're just out, 
you know, shooting pictures like I've been doing. It's not that big a deal, but it certainly is not something that I, you know, enjoy. I would prefer it be a little bit lighter, but you know what? It's a trade-off that I have to have. You know, so what's another dislike? File size. All right, when you take, you know, you know, raw images, which I do, I mean, 45 megapixel images, the raw files are just gigantic. I mean, they, they really are. So it takes longer to download, takes longer to process, takes longer to upload. I mean, there's a lot of different things in it. Is it a, is it a game changer or, you know, something where you, you don't want to do it? No, it's just, it just changes your workflow, makes things a little bit more difficult. Not the end of the world, but certainly, uh, at least from my perspective, you know, it's a dislike. You know, what would a third dislike be? You know, that's a great question because there's really not a, not a lot to dislike, you know, about this camera. But I guess if I had to, to pick anything, I guess it would just be, you know, beyond the size and the files. I don't know. It's hard to find one because beyond that, it's pretty darn good. I guess you could go back to the, the overheating stuff that people talk about, you know, I don't use it for video that really much, and so it, it, I haven't experienced any of that. But the potential for it still sits there. So from that standpoint, you know, it, it you know, that that's potentially an issue. I guess the other thing to argue about, because of its size, is it takes up more space in my camera bag. It means I can carry less. You know, so it just makes it a little bit more difficult to to get around with. But all in all, you know, it, it's hard to find too many things to dislike about this camera. So now. Is it something you want to own? Is it something that, that I feel that, 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 you know, I'm happy with? The answer is absolutely yes. It's a fantastic camera. This is arguably the, the best, you know, camera on the planet right now. Um, it has, you know, all the you know, features you could ever want. It has all the capabilities you could ever want, you know, whether you're recording and video or whether you're, you're out shooting still images, which is what I do mostly. You know, it is absolutely... A fantastic camera to own and, and if you've got the money you know and and you really have the need for it you know and the capabilities to you know the you know the, the ability to use all of its capabilities by all means go out and get it you know do you have to have it the answer is no you can shoot with whatever you have all right even if it's an iPhone but that being said this is a darn good camera nothing wrong with my RP I'm again I'm videoing this with my RP you know, the RP, RP is fantastic, but, you know, if you want to go a, a level above and, and, and really have some incredible technology and incredible capability, the Canon R5 is hard to beat. So, you know, thank you for your time. Hopefully you like what you see. If you do, give me a thumbs up. You know, please subscribe. You know, hit the notification bell so when I post another video, you'll be able to see it. But uh, thanks for coming along for the journey. You know, it's good to good to be out again. You know, thanks for all your time. Thanks very much.